Hey, what's up, everybody? DJ Hi Kevin here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to start our journey into Adobe Premiere Pro. And I'm going to start off with something really simple, which is the quickest and easiest way built into Adobe to get rid of pauses in your speech, like that one right there. Let's check it out. All right, so let's jump right into Premiere. As you can see, my workspace, I'm built off of the Essentials workspace. It's just how I normally work. Obviously, yours is gonna look a little bit different, but some things should remain fairly the same. We're actually gonna work off of that clip that I recorded for the introduction because I think it'll show a lot of things that I really wanna prove using this tool, which is it is AI and it's not perfect, but there's some really quick workarounds to make it very usable. So if we watch just the clip, <clears throat> I hey, what's up, up everybody? DJ Hi throat. Kevin here. Welcome back to the channel. Do my little intro. Today we're going to start our journey into Adobe Premiere Pro. And I'm going to start off with something really simple, which is, okay, that's more than enough to get the point across. What we're going to want to do is open our text panel first. So window, roll down to text. It opens up here for me in the top right. I'm going to scooch it over just so we can see it a little easier. And you can see right from the beginning, you're going to get a lot of these dot, dot, dots. So these are representing the pauses. You can go through and delete them all one by one. Obviously, most clips that you're working with for talking head videos are going to be a lot more in depth than this. So you'll have a lot of filler words like um and but and so and uh, all that type of stuff, which normally Oh, good. It did pop up. So we can go straight to filler words. Nothing is highlighted. We can't delete anything. That's cool. So we're going to go back to that filter thing. So this is filtering to text, filler words, pauses, or you can use your own custom search settings. What I'm going to do is we're going to go straight to pauses. And we're going to see that it highlights them all. Again, really, really, really small sample size. So we don't have a ton to like work off of here. But we're going to use them. It's useful for me in the beginning and end of clips and of course throughout but that one's there to prove a point so the beginning one really simply you can just go and delete all but that's not always the correct way of using that but to show it it'll actually make your ripple delete for you and you know size it right up with your other clips which is awesome Get rid of pauses in your speech, like that one right there. So you see, it gets rid of the pause, cuts it right in, leaves a little bit of that buffer, a little bit of that cushion, so that it sounds a little more natural. But also, the point of that pause was to prove that there was a pause. So I'm actually going to delete that, and we're just going to drag this back out. Check the audio, and there. Like that one right there. Let's check it out. So you can see as I'm speaking, there's a couple dropouts in the audio. You can see where it hits zero. I believe that because I'm speaking in the middle of a sentence and pausing, it's going to actually hold it there. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to start our journey into Adobe Premiere Pro. And I'm going to start off. So because I started with and, it didn't see it as a pause because it saw it as a continuation of the same sentence. I use this a lot for if I'm doing multiple takes of saying the exact same thing over and over and over again. Sometimes I feel like I get the verbiage perfectly. Sometimes I feel like my emphasis is all off, so I need to redo it. Sometimes I feel like my emphasis is all off, so I need to redo it. That's just an example of something that I would do in a video. So yeah, it can be super useful. I really like it just to trim. You can see like it trimming down for that and then backspace simply deletes it. So it's in your speech, like that one right there. Let's check it out. So that cut it just a little bit short for my taste. So I would elongate it and then I drop my intro video right there, which you'll see obviously in this whole video. And then we continue with this whole thing. So really, it just makes your job easier instead of scrolling through, highlighting, and deleting every section. You now have the ability to kind of do that all in once. Then when you watch your video back, you may notice that, oop, that was cut a little short. 
just extend it a little bit. Give yourself some breathing room. So yeah, this is a really simple, easy way to use the tools built into Adobe Premiere Pro 2024 in order to really help your workflow and speed you up and make editing that much more easy, therefore making it that much more fun. So yeah, let me know how you use this. If you have other cool tricks that you use, please let me know. I'm always learning, especially in Premiere, especially with this new version. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.